see what the Lord is doing. The Lord is using the, the bankers to bring evil and to show evil on the planet Earth. See, we had to get an, an understanding of evil. So they had to have a, 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 a instrument of evil. That's the bankers. That's what they're showing us. They're showing us the evil side. So when we learn the righteous side, we'll appreciate it that much more. Uh, Elder Yaakov used to always say that. And it makes total sense. You can't know about righteousness if you don't know about wickedness. You have to have an education of both. And that's what the bankers give us. They give us a... That's what the bankers do. They give us an education in wickedness. All right? Because they're the wicked. Go ahead, brother. Want me read it again? Yeah. So you don't know the power of the Heavenly Father. You you, you don't know. What, what are you anyway? What, what's your background? German. German? Yeah, well, according to the Bible, you're known as Esau, Edom. Germania. So-called so white man. Are you Jewish? All right. Huh? Are you Jewish? Okay. Job 12 and 16. Yeah, you, you're going to find out those people over there in Israel call themselves Jews. They're not the real Jews. The real Jews are the so-called Negroes, man. But the, word what, Jew, the word Jew comes from Judah. What, what can we do about it? Well, as an Edomite, there's nothing you can do. Give me a that's Hebrew why, uh, why, why 12 do you, and 16. We why do you, get rid of the shoes. That's, why do we do this? <laughs> why do you explain to people if we can do nothing anyway, like you said? No, I'm talk, no I'm, I, we're out here to teach the elect of this, these people. Of our people. And we're out here also to condemn the rest of the people. We're out here as a co condemnation. Don't you know that before the Lord always brought down a, a kingdom, He always sent out His prophets? Okay. And He always sent out His prophets. Did you ever see the movie Ten Commandments? You never seen it? Okay, when you watch... Do, do you have a website where I can call myself? Yeah, okay. GMS. Is there a website GMS. or something else? Just type in GMS. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is on YouTube. GMS. YouTube. <laughs> All right, go ahead. This is, this is Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any photocana or profane person as Esau. Yeah, Esau is a so-called white man. That's his true biblical nationality. Esau is also known as Edom. Now the word Edom means red. So-called white man is not white, he's red. They're the real red people. And they're known as Edom in the Bible. They're also known as Esau. Esau is Edom. Wait a minute, let's prove that. Give me Ge Genesis 36 and 8. Let's prove that Esau is Edom. And these Rothschilds, matter of fact, he mentioned the Rothschilds, right? Yeah. Hey, the Rothschilds know that they're Esau. They do. There's a document online, you can go online, what is it, Marion Knox? It's a conversation, uh, Marion Knox, between uh, Ron Patton and Marion Knox. And in the conversation, they bring out the fact that the Rothschilds know that they're Esau, that they're Edom, that that's their true biblical nationality. Go ahead. Right. Genesis, 36. Gen Genesis 36, verse 8. Go on. Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Huh? Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. So when you're talking about Esau, you're talking about Edom. So go back to Hebrews. Esau is the forefather of the Edomites. The Edomites are the so-called white people. That's you. You're an Edomite. Go ahead. Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Did you hear that? The Bible says Esau is a fornicator and a profane person. When you look up the word profane, it's from the Latin profanum, which means outside the temple. The temple is Israel, so Esau is outside the temple. Yeah. So there's nothing Esau can do. Yeah. And the other nations. And the other nations. They're going into slavery too. Under See, not just the so-called white man. Uh, all the people are going into slavery under us. That's right. The people you see on that side. Africans, right. uh, Chinese, Japanese, Hawaiians. Hey, we were their slaves. We were yeah. slaves of the so-called white man. So they're going to be our slaves. Hold that and give me a, a, a Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Hey, we were their slaves. We were the white man's slaves. So the white man's going to be our slaves. That's called justice, man. The Most High's justice. God's justice. Not the white man's justice. Because the white man's not just, man. He's unjust. Revelation 13 and 9. Go on. If any man have an ear, let him hear. You got ears, right? So hear this. Go he, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't the white man lead us into captivity on the slave ships? So what the Bible say? He's what? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He's going into captivity, man. Captivity is slavery. All right? See that? See my man here? He got them chains on the white boy. And, which she might be a Jake. Uh, uh, her name is Christina Ricci. 
she's an Italian, so-called Italian. She yeah. might be a Jake. But in the but in the hymn, she represents. But is she white? Yeah, exactly. In other words, that represents the so-called white woman. Right. The white man and the white I woman is calling the slave. I don't. My English is not good enough to get this white oh, your uh, slave. Just fine, your English is fine. Your English is fine, man. man. Thank, Thank you, you very you much. You're from Germany, right? Tell us about your English. You're from Germany? Yeah. So you should go and crank them ovens back up. That Hitler had, get them ovens cranked up because the so called Jews are going to burn them in the ovens. Again. I'm not responsible for that. Like in German, God, God is nix. So <laughs> I'm a vice. God is nix. I'm a vice man. God is, is I'm a schwarzer man. God is I'm a schwarzer man. Black man. All right, you understand that, right? Yeah. You get that, right? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Revelation 13 and 10. You got that? You did it? You did it? You got that? You did it? You did it? You did, you did? <laughs> Yeah, the real Germans would look like us, buddy. Not like you. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Hey, so that's what the Bible say. Bring it again. The white man led us into captivity. He's going into captivity. He's going into slavery. 100%. They're going to be on slave ships. All right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Go on. He that killeth with the sword. Did he not kill us with the sword? How about the so-called North American Indians? That's right, which I happen to be. Which this brother happens to be. The white, get the Indian side. Yeah. You think the white man, the white... Look, no. let me ask you a question. All the wickedness that the white man did, don't you think he has to pay for it? Don't you think he has to pay for it? How the, how the hell did the white man get America? Yeah. You know any history? I know that. You know that they stole America, right? I know right? that. Yeah. So you think you don't think they got to yeah. pay for it? If I if I came at your home and I kicked you out your house, all right, and I, I, I sent you wherever I sent you. you know, kick, no, 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 let me make my point. Let me make my point. Okay. I come I come at your home and I kick you out of your house, right? And I take over your house. Would you think I'm righteous? Would you think I'm just? No. Well, that's what the white man did. He okay. did it to us. Okay, but. All right. It, 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 you understand that, right? For me, it sounds like you hate all white people. Well, God hates them. Well, wait a minute. Let, let's go back to that same analogy. If I came in your house and kicked you out of your house, would you not hate me? Of course you would. You have to think about it. You know okay. you would. Okay, okay, okay. You know you but, would. All right. Yeah. So, so the so-called white man has every reason to be hated. All right. But, he hasn't really done okay, anything okay, righteous. Okay, 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 okay. But let me ask you a question. What, what did I? You say the the white you're people. You're guilty by association. You're part of their nation. You're you're an Edomite. You're no, right, I'm, not you're guilty. Guilty. I'm guilty. Yeah, you I'm not guilty. guilty. I'm not guilty you're, for well, Hitler. What's your nationality? I was German. Well, I was Hitler, born you know, 20 years ago. Look, look, so Hitler, we know about the state. No, no, no. no, no listen, country. you mentioned Hitler. Hitler. We no, know no, about no, no, no. we know about that. That was all bullshit with Hitler, all right? First of all, Hitler didn't kill no so no Jews because they weren't Jews. That's number one. Doesn't matter. Number two, he killed number two, a lot of people, and killing is no. no that's propaganda. <laughs> that's right. That's propaganda. But no, regardless, regardless, happened. you and Hitler, you're the same people. He's an Edomite. You're an Edomite. That's right. What is an Edomite? An Edomite is your. I just read it to you. A so-called yeah, white. I, I don't white. understand what the, the English word Edomite. Is. You don't understand. Why don't you understand? I don't, because what don't I don't you understand know the about word it? Edomite. That is your true biblical nationality. Okay. Do you understand the term nationality? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, according to the Bible, okay. Not according to no. It keeps saying, okay, listen. According to the Bible, the so-called white man is known as Edom in the Bible. They're the Edomites. Now we, according to the Bible, we're known as the Israelites. That is our biblical nationality. Give me the book of Acts. What is that? Uh, Twenty-six. God created nations of people. Yeah. And everybody has a nationality. Yeah. All right, let's read that. So you, you, you be, look. There's no such thing as the yellow man, the red man, the white man. That's something that the white man came up with. The so-called white man. There's nations of people. That's right. All right. Go ahead, brother. Acts 26 and uh, what is that? 17. I know it's cold. Here. This is Acts 26. Hey, see 14th Street. Now put the camera on it. 14th Street, the homo. You couldn't do this. Oh, no. Joe, it's your big faggot ass. It's too cold. <laughs> Go you ahead, brother. That's stupid out there. 17? Yeah, 26. And uh, 7. We have made of one blood. Is that 17 and 26 or 26? That's not 17. That's not 26 and 17. All right, so what what, what you got there? It says, we have made of one blood. Uh, it says, deliver thee from the people. That's the 26th verse? So it's got to be Acts 17 and 26. Yeah. I want to put that vibration out there. 
Acts 17, get that, Acts 17 and 26. Hey, what time is it? It's uh, almost 9, but I, All right. I told him at 9 o'clock. All right, go ahead. Okay, here you go. Good. Acts, Acts 17 and 26. Go on. And have made of one blood all nations of men. No, white man, black man, the yellow man. Have, have made what? And have made of one blood one all... One blood, what's the color of blood? Really, it's blue, but when it hits the air, it turns into red. All right? So this is God have made of one blood, go on. Have made of one blood all nations of men. All nations of men. Nations of people. All right, go on. For to dwell on the face of the earth. Plain, that's it. Now, let's get the, the, uh, the nationality of the so-called white man. All right? Uh, Genesis. And that's all the same Bible, the New Absolutely. and the Old Testament. New so and Old Testament. I can buy it in German and can read everything what you... King, as long as the King James Version, yes. The King Sam. We, we use the King James because it's the closest to the Hebrew. We actually read, write, and speak Hebrew back here. Okay? Okay, this is on Genesis 36 and 8. Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. All right? Now, let's go to the beginning of uh, the Genesis of Esau, right. Genesis 25, yeah, the 25th chapter. Because the word Genesis means beginnings. So every nation had a beginning. So what is the beginning of the so-called white man? Well, it starts with Esau, his forefather, which became known as the Edomites. All right, this is Genesis 25, verse 23. Go on. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Oh, there's that word nation again. The her is Isaac and Rebekah. Actually, the her is Rebecca. All right? It comes down to this Jacob and Esau. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, so we represent Jacob. These are the Israelites here. They come out of the seed of Jacob. That's their nationality. <coughs> and here's Esau. Esau, that's him. Jacob and Esau. Uh, good and evil. All right? Go ahead, brother. Huh. See, two nations. There's that word. That's a, see that word. This devil has destroyed the so-called white man. He has destroyed this word, nation. <laughs> they have destroyed that word. <coughs> you know. <coughs> Go ahead, brother. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people. Two manner of people, like the so-called white man. He has his manner, his way. Like he likes his steak, medium rare or damn near raw. We like our steak well done. That's two manner of people. The so-called white man. The majority of them are homosexuals. We like women. The so-called white man, he can't dance. He looks retarded when he tries to dance. We know how to dance. So he has his way, his manner. We have our manner. And who did this? The one you call God. He separated them. So the first separatist in reality is really God. And when you have nations, that denotes separate separatism. Nations denote separatism, right? Go ahead, brother. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Shall be separated from thy bowels. So who's doing this? God. So who's the first separatist? God is. Go ahead. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. It's a fact that the so-called black man is stronger than the so-called white man. That's a fact. All right? Look who's dominating in the boxing ring. The so-called black man. When it, when it comes to sports, forget about it, man. All right? Yep. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. So when you read the story, you find out that uh, Je uh, that um, that Esau came out. Esau was the elder. So Esau is going to serve us in slavery. The elder shall serve the younger. The younger being Jacob. Go ahead. And when her days and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, her is the, uh, Rebecca. Go on. Behold. There were twins in her womb. Behold, there were twins in her womb. Go ahead. And the first came out. And the first came out red. And the first came out red. What color is the so-called white man? Red. All right. There's a, there's a depiction right here. He's not white. He's red. Go ahead. All over, all over, like a hairy garment. Go ahead. And they called his name Esau. And they called his name Esau. And Esau is the father of who? The Edomites. Edom means red. Ike means nation. They're the red people. Where, where can I inform myself about this stuff? Well, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. You just got to GMS. You just got to watch out. GMS. GMS. Right? Okay. 
Have a great day, guys. GMS. Yeah, oh, which one is this? All right. Yeah. Go on. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob, which represents us. All right. So uh, with that, we're going to get ready to close up. It's kind of it's a uh, uh, pretty cold out here, but we'll be back next week. Uh, Lord willing, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's will. So with that, we we'll say shalom. shalom.